Hi everyone and welcome back to a new vlog. Um, we have just left the house. It is Saturday today. We've not just left the house. Pollyanna has had ballet this morning. So we've been up early doing that. I then went and collected a new piece of furniture from Facebook Marketplace, which is so beautiful. It's like a window seat, um, an antique window seat. And I had it saved for a long time. And I always like save things. And if I think about them for a very long time, then I'll purchase it. Hello. Um, so yeah, we've just come to the park. We just had to shoot a campaign for River Island, which was part of their coat outwear campaign. And Pollyanna's outfit is absolutely adorable. I will show you them in a minute. So I'll just show you Pollyanna's little outfit. She's got this tutu jumper dress. So it's all built in. So cute. I've put it on with some grey tights and then her little biker shoes. These biker shoes with pink on them. And then Alfie's outfit is River Island as well. He's got these grey cargo pants which are just so good to put on instead of jeans. Pollyanna has just finished her third swimming lesson and she can now swim. I can't believe it. So last week was her second one and she swam half a length. Today she was learning all about backstrokes. Yeah, she done so well. So proud of her. I need to get her a better pair of goggles though. Oh god, it's freezing, isn't it, Pollyanna? So Hello, Pollyanna. I can't see. Oh, you get into the middle then because we're not driving yet. Pollyanna has to get dressed after swimming outside in the car park. So come out of your car seat, Pollyanna. Um, so we are just now waiting for Alfie to come, out of, to come out of his swimming lessons. Did you have fun? You can swim now, can't you? We're just going to have a snack. And then we are. We're going to the fun bear. We are off to Marleybrook House for a fright night to like it's a preview of the fright night that they're going to be hosting during halloween um i'll leave details of that linked below um but yeah we're looking forward to it, it should be fun shouldn't it so they Fish have like girl. a fun fair there it's towards canterbury way and they've got Fish fun girl. fair and yeah they host weddings and things so Mom. we're just gonna try and warm up and then wait for alfie and then head straight there because i think we're only gonna have about an hour there before the pr night is over um, but yeah, swimming lessons, we couldn't miss that because she's only got five out of the, the booked sessions. So she's done three, two more to go. <laughs> she's so hyper. I'm she's, not. Well, no, you've just always got energy, haven't you? Mm. Always. Pollyanna just said, is that a pond? And it is. It is, yeah. And you might sink. Might sink. Oh no, she can swim now. What? You can, Alfie said you would sink and I said, no, you can swim now. It's not a swimming pool, you're right. So this is all new since the last time I was here. And so lovely, such a nice venue. Yeah. This is one of my favorite rides and Pollyanna came straight to this, the Walton. <laughs> that was the spinniest, dizziest roller coaster uh, waltzers I've ever, ever been on. Pollyanna and Alfie were loving it. I was really surprised because we were going and then we were going and then we were like, Ooh, was that good Pollyanna? That was the first ever, ever waltzer ride. Mummy used to go on that all the time at Greenland. Oh, I got hold on tight. Best day ever. <laughs> hey, wait. Hold on tight, here we go. Here we go, hold on tight. I don't know where he is. I can't see properly. <laughs> Oh my god, it was actually, Pollyanna was falling into me. So Pollyanna was falling into me and then she was going, Mummy, you're on me. And I was like, no, Pollyanna, you're on me. She was like, get off me. I was like, you're on me. God. Woo, he did it. That's it, I don't think there's any toys. It's just, to, just for fun, just for fun today. Alfie's gonna have a go. <laughs> go on, give it your best 
shot? Is it heavy? Yeah, should we try something else? Alfie and Adam have just gone up on the, what is this, the Shelter Skelter, that's it. They used to have this at Dreamland as well. Pollyanna didn't want to, so she's over there on the, the waltzers, the mini waltzers. She's probably gonna feel bored after what she's just been on. Are they at the top yet? I don't know. They're coming down. <laughs> Was that good, Alfie? Yeah. <laughs> the little thrill seekers, these two. <laughs> So that was so much fun, wasn't it fun? Did you two have fun? Um, the waltzers, Adam just said, I'm still feeling a little bit sick. We honestly were spun around so quickly. I've never been on the waltzers, that was so fast. Worse than Adam going down the country lanes, let's put it that way. But yeah, really brilliant. So they have Fright Night. Sounds like a challenge. No, please don't. They have Fright Night on the 29th and 30th of October. And they actually are hosting a adults only night where they're gonna have like a sax player and it's very like Ibethan vibes and then they've got like some really scary actors in and um, they've got a band on just yeah and then for the kids they've got like the spooky maze um, and then obviously the fun fair and it just sounds so brilliant so yeah that was really really brilliant I'll link to Marley Brook House you can also hire it for birthday parties and then you can also have it um, as a wedding venue and um, they have little places that you can stay on site so really really worth checking them out if you're looking for a venue or looking to get married or interested in the Halloween night so I just thought while I was in m and I'd quickly show you my outfit this shirt is so old from ASOS just a classic white shirt Celine belt shorts are River Island they're new and then the ballet pumps are also River Island you would have seen them in a recent haul but I'm um, just coming here to get a white chocolate milkshake happy Sunday everyone we've been and done the food shop and then well I say we Adam done the food shop I popped to Primark and got some essentials for Pollyanna just like polo necks to go with a dress that she's got on today she's got on like a, a pinafore dress but yeah she had no roll necks to go underneath it so I got a grey one pink one and a cream one got her some tights and then I got myself some 10 denier tights because it's getting to that time of year I've got bare legs today but I reckon it's the last time we are off for a Sunday roast dinner today there is a local bar near us that are just starting to do roast dinners um, rain so we're gonna head there and check that out and I'm hoping I just actually I don't even need to hope because it looks incredible in the photos and all the other food that they've done has been really, really good, so it's gonna be good. Shall I show you? Yeah. <laughs> no! So we've had our dinner, and now we're just having an ice cream. I say we're, I'm the only one who didn't get one. I hope he looks really tired. What are you doing? You're filling yours up? Yeah. You're, re you're restocking. <laughs> This is Pollyanna's little outfit from River Island. These are the jumpers I got at next um, at Primark today. And then she's got her new little boots. And then you don't watch me. And then Alfie's two-piece set is also from River Island. What do you want that? You want Daddy's cone? Ah, oh, you want to swap with Daddy? Hello everyone, well it is now Wednesday today and I am, me and Alfie, we're going to go Halloween shopping. We are going to go and find um, some bits for our Halloween party that may or may not happen depending on if we're in the house. Um, I think we're being very, very optimistic. But I'm also going to film a Halloween come shop with me so that should already, by the time you watch this, that will be up on my channel. So if you love Halloween as much as me, go and check that video out because I'm going to go around as many shops as I can from like Wilkinson's, Asda, TK Maxx, 
Tesco. I'm literally going to try and do all of them and put it in one video so that everyone can see like what what has what where. So it'll be really, really good. And then we've got a meeting with Pollyanna's school to talk about her curriculum. And that's it for today, isn't it? I've ordered some new things. Um, I've ordered something that I never thought I would ever purchase, but I've caved into the trend. Um, so I'll show you that when I get home as well. Oh, I've ordered actually so many things, um, which I will show you in this vlog. Um, I just kind of, there's been a few pair of like key trend shoes that I've really, really wanted and I've kind of just slowly one by one ordering them. So I will show you them all in this week's vlog. So I've just come into the range to show off the Halloween bits for my Halloween video and I've just seen these. How nice are they? They're... Do you know what? There's no price on them. Oh, I hate that. But yeah, then two of those by the front door would be really, really nice. In like a white wooden box. I hate that there's no price. Just in Matalan, um, but they've actually got no Halloween pieces whatsoever. But this, I remember seeing this online last year and missing out on it. Forty-five pound, really like that. And then these stair baskets. I desperately need one of these as well when we move back into the house because I'm so fed up with things piling up on the stairs. I don't know if that happens in anyone else's house, but in mine, everything gets put on the stairs and everyone just walks past it thought I would briefly show you my outfit of the day while I can. So blazer is new look but quite old, belt is Dior and then these leggings are the FNF ones um, which they sent me this week which you may have saw on TikTok and then these shoes are really really old. Um, I think they might have been ASOS but you know, remember like when everyone wore the Gucci dupes, couldn't find my biker kind of boots so I just put these on but it worked out quite well and then just a plain black polo neck from River Island I believe I thought this was really nice um, yeah I'm not sure where but it's a large ottoman I've got three ottomans which I no longer use um, 99 pound they've also got like a little square a little square one so cute yeah, I think they're really, really cute. I like them, but I just don't know where I'd put one. That is all I have managed to get done so far today. Um, a bag has just arrived from Paris 64. How beautiful is that? It's so stunning. Um, I will, I am hosting a giveaway with them over on Instagram, so make sure you go and enter. You get to win one of these bags, which Honestly, they are amazing. They're handmade in Spain, they're real leather. They are just such beautiful craftsmanship. The stitch on that, it has a zip compartment. It has, well, first of all, it has two compartments in here. Even the lining is stunning. And then on the other side, it has the zip compartment and then a card compartment. It's just lovely. It's just so classic, timeless, not a piece that is gonna go out of style. And um, it's perfect for me when I need to fill a bag with loads and loads of snacks. For the kids, not for me. <laughs> so Pollyanna has something really exciting to open from Age of Innocence that they sent her. So she's just going to get into it now. What? Is that only really present? Oh, aren't they beautiful? Why don't I open this one? <gasps> Let me show you the bottom. Stay. That's so cute. I'm just gonna open it now. <laughs> oh, it's like Christmas, isn't it, Pollyanna? Yeah. So weird. What? Golden shoes. <laughs> Golden shoes. Oh, aren't they gorgeous? They're like princess shoes. How do we get the knees on? Um, they just. It's like a button, I think. Oh no, they just slide on. Now just look at the okay. other ones. Yeah, let's get the next pair out. It's going to be a very big one, see? So look at this. This is giant. Let's open it. I'm going to open it here, look. Ah! Uh, uh, uh. So, uh. 
No, they're just called riding boots. This, it's the style of shoe. Horse riders wear these kind of boots, so they call them riding boots. How lovely are they? Look at the stickers. Last Look one. how beautiful they are packaged. Oh, right, go on then. This is the last one. Oh. So lucky. Look how cute they are. Oh. Hi guys, so I was just about to end this vlog and then I realised I never finished it off. Um, so I thought I would I have a few things that I'm just unpacking and trying on and I thought I would show you them as as I'm going along before the video ends. First up I ordered some blazers from Kate Hutchins Edit with New Look. Um, I went for just two blazers but I had to get them in two sizes because I was unsure how oversized they would be. So let me show you them now. Okay so first up is this black black tweed blue boucle style blazer i absolutely love 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 this um paired it with a white shirt i th i'm wearing a 10 the 8 was too tight even on the arms i would probably even size up to a 12 i think i don't know because it kind of sits quite nicely in here i'm really unsure whether to keep this size i might actually order the 12 as well so that i can compare them because this feels nice but I don't know if I just want it that little bit longer. Um, so I've paired it with quite a smart look and then I've dressed it down on the bottom. So we've got a white shirt from ASOS. I will link everything in the description. <laughs> I will link everything in the description box below as always. I've added my Dior belt. I think it goes nicely with the gold detailing on the blazer. Some leather shorts, these are from New Look. They're a little bit looser than what I would have hoped for for this outfit. I really need a kind of either a black mini skirt or um, some more fitted black shorts. And then I have a pair of tights which are 10 denier from Primark. And then I've paired it with chunky boots from Public Desire. And again, I really need a pair of boots that are kind of in between the riding boot and the chunky boot. H&M do brilliant ones this year and other stories do a pair but I think they are around £200. Um, this look would also go brilliantly with a pair of loafers which I have on the way which um, I will show you in the next vlog. So yeah this is this outfit. I'm just filming some daily outfit of the day reels um, and putting some looks together. I've been sent some PR packages so I'm unpacking things as well. Um, another new thing, I don't know if you can tell but my hair's a little bit different today. I invested in the Molly May Beauty Works curler. I didn't realise it was actually the whole kit, so I've been wanting this for so long. I have been using my Babyliss curler since I was at university. Yeah, I don't even know how long, like 2014 I've been using it since. And it was £20. I remember going in there and buying the cheapest one they had on the shelf. And it has done me so long, so I thought, you know what? let's invest in a really good one that I've wanted. I wanted something, my hair's a lot longer than what it used to be, so I wanted something that was more suitable for longer hair. I went onto Beauty Works and it was on sale, half price, and I just saw that as a sign, so I, I brought it. I didn't realise I was actually buying the whole kit, so it comes with, let me show you. So it comes with the Beauty Works Molly May hairbrush, which I have been using. I was gonna get a paddle brush because I thought they were good, but this makes your hair really fluffy and bouncy. And then of course you have the wand which in itself is just so aesthetically pleasing and it's incredible. Um, to get the curls that I've done today, I used it on 180 which is what my Babyliss one I always used at and um, I pinned them today. So the set actually comes with all these little clips as well. It comes with this little thing to stop it burning your surfaces and it comes, and it comes with a glove. Um, but I used these and I used these little ones from Primark to actually pin the curl and I kept them in for about half an hour and that is how I've got my curls today. I do need a lot of practice so this side here has gone inwards rather than outwards so I do need some practice but they're really fluffy bouncy they almost remind me of like a blow dry which was definitely the look I was looking to achieve so I'm really happy but yeah a lot of practice with the pinning I'm not used to doing that I've always just like curled my hair brushed it through straight away um, I haven't tried to do that with the Babyliss. I'm not not sure if they, they will hold. I'm hoping they will. If, if my Babyliss curler done done it, then um, should be fine. So yeah, let me show you some other new in bits. 
my goodness it was hot wearing that blazer um so i also treated myself to a pair of the ultra mini uggs in chestnut and my goodness i just adore them i have filmed a seven ways to wear video which will be going oh, <laughs> which will be going up on my channel on tuesday so make sure you watch that the day that you watch this video it will be alfie's birthday so i've been doing lots of planning for that i say lots i've left everything to the last minute as always but yeah these i'm so glad i got these these are like a staple shoe this this autumn and then I'm not sure if you saw Pollyanna's little unboxing she done. But these are basically the boot that I need in my size. So these are a classic riding boot. They have nothing on them, whereas my riding boots, they have buckles and um, bits down here. But these are so beautiful. I can't wait to get her on in these. They're stunning. I've always wanted to work with Age of Innocence from since when Pollyanna was a baby. I remember they had a pair of boots in this fabric and these little shoes are just per oh these little shoes i would want these in my size as well they should really do adult versions as well because then you could do matching but they are just so luxurious imagine this with tights and a cute little dress and then her favorites which are these gold ones they're very Chanel, I think. They give very much Chanel vibes. I will link all of these in the description box below as well. But they do, if you have a special occasion as well, if you have a wedding or, you know, they're a bridesmaid or you enjoy splurging out on children's footwear, then definitely check out Age of Innocence because I, I literally spent an hour, maybe more, choosing a pair of shoes, choosing these shoes for Pollyanna because I couldn't decide because there was just simply so many. Let me show you the second blazer from Kate's Edit with New Look. This one is very true to size. I got the eight and the 10. The 10 was a lot longer on the arms and very oversized. The daylight, the daylight today. So I am wearing the eight and it fits perfectly. It just covers my shorts, which you can see up here. So it gets, you, you get away with wearing it as a dress as well as a blazer, you could wear it undone. I think this one I would only wear as a dress. Um, I don't think I'd get as much wear out of this as I would the black blazer. So I think this uh, this is the last few items that I'm going to show you. The next few bits that you see will be for Alfie's birthday party next week. Well, this week, it's at the end of the week. Um, but they will be in a completely new video. So. These next few items are from a brand called Dish and I cannot believe they are collaborating with me. They are sending me things. I feel so lucky, but the pieces are stunning. Their summer collections are me down to an absolute T and I've never really looked at them for autumn winter, but their pieces are so beautiful. So I'm gonna share some pieces that they've sent me now. Starting off with this beautiful midi dress, which comes down past my ankles i am only five foot but this is so stunning i love how the sleeves on me just cover my palms it's like very cutesy oh i just love it the color it's like um it's like a white and oatmeal color it is absolutely beautiful it has these button detailing here so you could button it all the way up if you wanted to wear this maybe to work I would have just one button done up um, and then it has the collar look at that collar I think I may need some shapewear for this because you can still see like my um, my tummy where I had my c-section scar but this is just the ultimate cozy dress you could wear this with some Ugg boots you could wear this with heels if you wanted to wear it out for lunch you could wear it with trainers it's a really casual make it casual it's just like the ultimate jumper dress and this will be in my wardrobe for many many years to come i just know it oh my word i am ending this vlog on an absolute high i do not know why it's so dark um oh my word it this this outfit from dish is just i've never felt more me like i re i feel like and i've mentioned this a few times in vlogs but i feel like i've really found my style and i just really need to remember not to jump into trends and just go with what you feel really really comfortable in but this set from dish it's 
So the trousers do need to be taken up a lot because I would love to wear this with sandals, with trainers, with Ugg boots, you name it, I would wear this all season round. These trousers, I feel like I do not need another pair of white, or not white, I do not need another pair of cream trousers in my wardrobe now. These are the pair. They fit so perfectly up here. I need to get a steamer just to get all the little creases out properly. Um, but the darts make them really look so beautiful on your waist. How it like cinches you in in the middle and they flow out. They're also lined so they are not see-through whatsoever. They are the most buttery soft linen I have ever, ever felt. Honestly, I cannot believe how soft this set is. This is the safari shirt and my word, so nice. And I don't think I would wear the shirt with anything else. I think... I don't know, I'd have to have a little play around, but potentially with mum jeans, actually. I would probably wear this with mum jeans, or you could even layer it, because look at that collar. Um, I could probably layer it over underneath jumpers, but personally, this, this for me, this set is just 10 out of 10. I feel so comfortable, and it could be worn so many different ways. It's one of those sets that I will probably take on every single holiday with me from now onwards. Absolutely adore it. I will link to everything in the description box below. So I will see you in my next video. Please do subscribe if you have not done already. Tuesday's video will be seven ways to style Ugg boots. And then next Thursday's video will be all about Alfie's birthday party. The theme this year is construction theme. I'm doing the balloons myself this year, so I will show you how I do that and film everything. I'm making the cake, um, which I'm gonna start this week. So yeah, make sure you go and check that out and do subscribe. It would just mean so much to me. And I will see you all in Tuesday's video. Bye.